In this section we'll cover some pros and cons of survey research, describe the research survey exercise which is part of quiz one and provide a summary of the uh, lecture to date. Key advantages of survey based research include its ecological validity. Because we take surveys out into the community and we present surveys in general to people uh, in their natural setting, uh, at least in non-experimental and quasi-experimental research designs, then the data that we obtain uh, potentially is more valid and more true of how people actually feel and behave and think in uh, real life settings. Uh, because surveys are easy to administer and um, relatively flexible and uh, quick, we can access a wide range of participants and we can get surveys out to people in a wide variety of settings using um, diff different techniques such as mail, uh, email, web, telephone uh, and so on. This also means that we can get potentially large amounts of data. The researcher um, doesn't have to do much more effort to photocopy a bunch more questionnaires and send, and send them out or to put up an online survey. So the scope of um, potential respondents uh, is much larger and it's not always the case that more data is better but all other things being equal and if the data is representative then more data uh, is generally going to lead to um, better data and uh, better analyses of uh, uh, what we're trying to investigate. And uh, surveys may be more ethical in that uh, we don't tend to um, do the manipulations that are more prevalent in experimental settings, we tend to um, do more like quasi-experimental naturally occurring groups uh, or non-experimental groups for our survey based studies and um, that means we may well be able to get information that um, wouldn't be obtainable because of uh, ethical limitations uh, with that paradigm. Disadvantages of survey based research studies include uh, potentially the lack of control over extraneous variables. Again, if we're running non-experimental and quasi-experimental studies, uh, we may not be able to control f um, for different people being in different conditions. The best we can possibly do is measure some of those variables and include them in our analyses. Uh, the data may be superficial, and by that we mean that the researcher sets up the set of questions and uh, the set of responses and response formats that are possible. And in doing that, the researcher may not elicit or provide um, space for gathering rich, potentially rich and interesting information about uh, the phenomenon of interest and uh, the respondents. And so that's one disadvantage of having um, a, a survey. It can be costly to obtain representative data. It's relatively cheap and quick to, fi to, to access uh, convenience type data, but to ensure that we get a representative sample may well take extra time and effort to um, get out to different corners of the community to ensure that the data is, uh, is representative of the target population. Survey based data is, uh, tends to be uh, self-report based and that carries with it several potential limitations including it assumes that a person can read and understand the questions, uh, it assumes that they've got a certain literacy level, intelligence level, cultural understanding as, as well as motivation for um, putting the effort into understanding the questions. It also assumes that they have accurate self-insight and, and are able to find the, the true answer to the, to the items. And uh, then it also assumes that they're prepared to report that honestly and that they do report honestly. Uh, they may have various bias biases acting on them, such as uh, researcher bias. They may feel like they're, uh, especially in interview type settings, that they should provide the answers that the researcher is looking for. And that may be conscious or unconscious. Uh, they may feel that they should give a socially desirable answer, uh, particularly for sensitive s topics such as... Uh, racism or um, sexual behaviours. And there are potentially low compliance rates. So whilst it's relatively easy to gather a lot of data, 
uh, if that's only a relatively small amount of respond if there's only a smaller number of respondents to the number that went out then we run the risk of obtaining a biased sample um, there may be certain types of people who are more likely to respond and that can then significantly undermine the um, data in terms of its uh, generalizability. Alright, so to test your um, knowledge of survey-based research characteristics, uh, purposes and goals, uh, types of research, and uh, the advantages and disadvantages of research. P Quiz 1 includes an exercise where you need to uh, go and find a study and then tell us, uh, tell your class uh, about it. Uh, so this is due when Quiz 1 is due on Sunday the 28th uh, of February by midnight. And um, this forum actually has the best description currently of what you're being asked to do. Um, you need to make a forum post here. Um, you want to add a new discussion topic and provide a meaningful descriptive title. It could be the title of the study. Include the APA style reference and a hyperlink to your study which should be an openly available survey based research study in the psychological sciences. By openly available I mean that it must be available at no cost and for, uh, for free on the internet, uh, not locked away in a subscription-only database. Then summarize the um, main features of the survey-based research method. That might be the sample size, the sampling method, uh, the questionnaire that was used, what, what did it consist of, what type of survey was it, was it interview or um, uh, self-report and how was it delivered and what procedures were used um, to gather the data. And um, maybe also what, what the study found, briefly. And then summarize what you think of the strengths and weaknesses of the uh, study, study survey-based research method. And we've just been over several of those. We're looking for a word count of approximately 250 to 350 words. And I've posted an example um, over on this page. I Google search for survey psychology attitudes environment and that led me to an open PhD study uh, and there's a description and a commentary about the strengths and weaknesses of the study. So in summary this lecture has described three main types of research, experimental, quasi-experimental and non-experimental, with survey based, uh, surveys being used in all three types, but more commonly or more characteristically of quasi-experimental and non-experimental. Uh, survey research tends to use either interviews or questionnaires, and in the next lecture we'll go into more detail about um, the characteristics of uh, of those two different types. Survey research uh, methods are characterized by their systematic approach, the, the use of the scientific method uh, by attempting to sample representative units from uh, the target population. We talked about two main purposes of research being information gathering and theory testing and building and surveys are used in, in for both purposes. Four more specific research goals are explanatory, descriptive, sorry, exploratory, descriptive, explanatory, and predictive goals. Pros and cons of uh, surveys include uh, they have good ecological validity and um, they're very efficient ways to gather a wide ranging and, and large amount of data. Disadvantages include um, lack of control over extraneous variables, particularly in quasi-experimental and non-experimental settings, low compliance rates, and um, particularly bias, biased uh, samples, and reliance on self-report data.